An update tonight on a story that we brought you last month on zombie mortgages. Those are mortgages you think are dead, but they come back to life. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda on what you need to know. We told you about Adina Brown last month. Her dream home is turning into a nightmare. Kind of just broke my heart. I told my husband, I said, I couldn't take another thing. When she and her husband bought the house in 2007, they needed a first and second mortgage. She says after property values plummeted, one of her lenders eventually charged off the second loan. She got a letter that said she was not responsible for the debt. This debt has been charged off. You are no longer liable for this debt. But that's where it gets tricky. Even if you're not responsible personally, a lien can still remain against the property. Another loan company now has the debt and says there's still an amount due of more than $139,000. The company now that owns that debt, whether it's a debt collector or a new loan company, uh, is coming back after it because housing prices have now risen and so they're hoping to collect on that. After our story aired, the new loan company, Specialized Loan Servicing, or SLS, sent us a statement which says in part, there is a mortgage lien on the property that is intact and enforceable. A lien remains in place on the property in question until the debt is resolved through payment in full, an agreed settlement, or foreclosure. It's like a horror story, right? They're coming back to haunt you from the dead. Financial experts worry there's still thousands of these so-called zombie mortgages handled by many different companies. Homeowners might not be aware of the consequences. They're no longer making the payments. Now the debt collectors are coming back looking for those payments, but it's not just payments, it's late fees, penalties, all this other stuff that adds up. Financial experts say whether a lien is actually enforceable depends on state law and what type of lien was filed. Homeowners would need a real estate attorney to deal with the legal issues. I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.